Okay, so today we're going to talk about genetic mutations, and we're mainly going to focus on the three types of mutations that can happen, and then the idea of them either being helpful or harmful or possibly neutral, depending on what the mutation is. A genetic mutation is the changing of the structure of a gene that is caused by the changing of the DNA by either deleting, inserting, or rearranging different sections of genes. So some mutations might not have an effect on the organism, however others can have a very large effect on the organism depending on the, what the mutation is. Gene mutations can be classified into um, two main groups. So hereditary mutations are ones that are, um, just like heredity says, are inherited from the parent and passed on to the offspring. So these would be things that the organism is born with. For example, if you are born with um, sickle cell anemia, that is a disease that is passed on from your parents. The other type are acquired or somatic mutations, and these occur later on in someone's life and are only present um, when there is a cause of an environmental factor. For example, radiation um, that's going to cause some sort of change in the DNA, um, which would result in a mutation. So the three types of mutations that can occur, if there is substitution, you have your original sequence right here as TGGCAG. And then the mutated sequence ends up being TGGTAC. So the C and the T were switched, which is where the substitution comes in. They're swapped. The C is swapped for the T due to the mutation. Insertion is where you have your original um, sequence, C, T, excuse me, T, G, G, C, A, G. And then this new section is inserted here right in the middle. So this extra T, A, T is included. So you've added new base pairs to your sequence. And then deletion is the exact opposite. So if you have your original sequence, T, G, G, C, A, G, and then this section is deleted, then you end up with just T, G, 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 okay? So we know that those letters um, stand for thymine, guanine, cytosine, and adenine. So those are the four proteins that make up those base pairs. So substitution, you're switching. Insertion, you're adding more. And deletion, you're getting rid of some. Okay, so substitution, you're exchanging one base pair for another. So the example here is you're changing that single um, chemical letter, which stands for each of those parts of DNA, such as switching your A to a G. Insertion is where you're adding extra base pairs. So you've got your original sequence, and then there's been another um, base pair or set of three that have been added into the DNA. So you're adding more. And then deletion, you're taking a section out. It's been lost or deleted. It's gone. So mutations, depending on what they are, whether you're an animal um, or a human, can be either beneficial, harmful, or neutral, depending on their effect. So we're going to look at some examples and see if you can um, figure out whether they're helpful, or harmful, or neutral. So the first one is hemophilia. Um, this example is a disease that people have that would prevent them from forming clots when they have an injury. So basically they can bleed to death. They can make their bleeding very difficult to stop. Um, if you think back to the circulatory system, remember, um, clotting is what's going to stop you from bleeding to death. So if you think about this type of a mutation, that's something that's going to be um, possibly harmful to their host because they've got um, that potential to possibly bleed to death if they don't deal with the situation properly. So that would be an example of a harmful mutation. Heterochromia um, is where people have two different colored eyes. Um, they still can see. They're not visually impaired in any way. They just have two different colored eyes. So this would be an example of a neutral mutation. Um, this would be something that they are born with. It's a genetic trait and inherited and um, doesn't have any impact. just has to do with the color of their actual um, irises of the eye. Sickle cell anemia um, is a disease that people inherit. And basically, they have a single amino acid in the protein that's produced that's changed and it can cause death, possibly, um, unless me the medical um, steps are taken. So if someone has sickle cell anemia, um, you can see here this is a normal red blood cell, so we know that those carry oxygen and nutrients, and this is what, a, what shape a sickle cell is. You can see that'd be a lot harder to carry those um, throughout your body in your circulatory system. So that would be a potentially harmful mutation. However, if people only inherit one trait from a single parent for sickle cell anemia, they're called a carrier. So they don't actually have the disease. They just have the trait that they could then possibly pass their offspring. Um, and those people have been found to actually be resistant to malaria. So that would actually be a beneficial um, mutation that they could have. And our last, last example is albinism. This is a condition where people um, have a defect in their melanin 
which is um, basically what colors your skin. So there's an absence of pigment from the hair and the skin and the eyes, so they tend to be really whitish blonde. Their skin is extremely pale, and their eyes are usually pinkish because there's no pigment. Or so if you're a human, this is probably going to be an example of a neutral mutation. This is not going to change anything in their daily life. It's just going to affect the way that they look. However, for animals, if you are an animal that lives somewhere that is dark or if you have certain coloring that serves as a camouflage for you from predators, if you have albinism, this could definitely be a harmful mutation because you're going to be a lot easier for those predators to spot. However, if you live in an environment that has a lot of snow, somewhere like the tundra, um, if you have albinism, this could end up actually being a beneficial mutation because you're going to blend in more with your surroundings. So real quick to recap, things to keep in mind. The three types of mutations that can occur, you've got substitution, where that switch is happening. You have insertion, where you're adding extra, or deletion, where some segment is actually taken out or lost, okay? And then depending on the type of mutation, the situation, some mutations can be helpful to the organism, like the, um, for example, if you're an animal that is albinism, that you live in a snowy environment, that would be a helpful be um, mutation. It could be harmful, for example, if you have um, hemophilia and you're not able to stop your blood from clotting. Um, and then a neutral mutation would be like the heterochromia, where if you have two different color eyes, it's not really going to impact your day-to-day -day life. And that's what you need to know about genetic mutations.